Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Tucson guys, any generation Hyundai Tucson, you have engine light on and any of the following four codes. I'm talking about code P0010, P0011, 0012 or 0013. Any of these four codes will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it guys. Now it could be multiple causes for that but we will explain the most common ones that we see here at the shop. Uh, even though we're demonstrating on 2.4 GDI engine, actually it may work on other engines, diesel gasoline engines as well on different generation and they choose on. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So with that being said guys, okay, that's uh, the engine that we'll be demonstrating on. If you look at that engine guys, okay, that's the intake side right here. That's where the engine gets its air and fuel from. When you have any of these codes P0010 to P0013, it uh, indicates that you have problems with the variable timing on the intake camshaft. It will be on the front side of the engine. Now, many of you have been asking us in the comment section below to share information about diagnostic tool that we recommend. That's the one that, that we use daily, guys. Okay, right here. You can see it works on Hyundai and almost any car you can think of. I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features, guys. It's a tool that can pay itself off in one-time use. So, if you have these codes, what can, what can that indicate, guys? Right here, if you look, on the left side of the engine, next to the serpentine belt, on the intake gum shaft, you have that connector that goes right here. This is known as VVT solenoid, variable timing solenoid, or uh, 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 intake uh, VVT solenoid. The purpose of that solenoid, guys, is it diverts the oil uh, to go through different passages and that will actually advance or retard the timing on the camshaft okay and that will be done by the uh, CVVT sprocket on the camshaft so when you have these codes what to look for make sure the wiring harness is not broken make sure the connector is clean and not oiled because if you have engine oil dripping from the valve cover that can affect the signal number three guys very common that we see here at the shop is a solenoid that's uh, dirty and sticking which can make it un, uh, not very responsive and you can easily get these codes. We have a special video that explains how to clean VVT solenoid on Hyundai. Check it out. It's on our main channel, How to Repair Guys, How to Clean VVT Solenoid. 90% uh, of the time by cleaning the solenoid, you can fix that. Also, you have to make sure you have the correct engine oil and uh, type and amount of oil in your engine because if you have different oil, that can affect it and you can get these codes as well. And uh, if that doesn't take care of the problem, guys, and you even installed new solenoid and you still have these codes, uh, check the wiring harness, but it could be a bad camshaft sprocket. But uh, I would say seven out of 10 times, it's dirty solenoid and the rest, it's a bad solenoid. And very rarely it's the camshaft sprocket, especially on a, it could be on a higher mileage vehicle, but uh, uh, we don't see it quite, quite often. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.